What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor DLC video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the returning feature from one of the most highly rated favorite Pokemon game of all time. And that is of course Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. In that game, there's one thing you can do with your Pokemon and any Pokemon in the game rather is have them follow behind you. Like we've seen in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee with, you know, the Pokemon following behind you. You just put whatever Pokemon is at your front of the party. You can pick it to follow behind you. That same mechanic has returned in the Owl of Armor. Now, you don't get this mechanic basically having Pokemon follow behind you. As you can see, I have my Cub Fu following behind me. You don't get this automatically. What you have to do is progress a little bit in the story where you complete the first three challenges. That's the catch slow poked, that's the collect the mash mushrooms, and that is the battle with your rival at the dojo. Once you complete those first three challenges, then you are able to basically any Pokemon in your party that you move to that first slot, I'm gonna move my boy Blastoise, I'm gonna swap Pokemon, I'm gonna put them in the front of the party. Anyone at the front of the party pops out of the shell and they start running with your boy. Now Blastoise is kind of a little slow, a little chubby boy. I'm gonna see if I can get a little fast boy to see if they can keep up. Now again, it doesn't matter if the Pokemon is shiny, not shiny, regardless, you put that Pokemon in the first slot, they will pop up with their shiny variant. You ride the bike, they will also still follow you. Some Pokemon are too slow to follow you in the bike, but Cinerase keeps up pretty, pretty cool, pretty well. He's actually just walking because he knows he could, oh, whoa. Now, obviously, they cannot bump into a Pokemon to encounter a Pokemon. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to always fly around with Mewtwo. And again, I don't have my shiny Pokemon. All my shiny Pokemon are in the box. As you see, if you go too fast, they will disappear. So coming. That is so cool. I love it. I love the fact that they br they brought that feature back. Especially, it's a fan favorite feature. I'm not too sure if it's hard to actually implement. My th oh, if he sees a Pokemon in the wild, that that's his reaction to it. Let's go. Let's go. What do you want to do? You're gonna wanna. You're trying to protect me from the Pokemon? Does he react to whistles? Yes, they do. Oh, okay. They do react to whistles. That is so fucking cool. They do their cry and shit. That is so fucking dope. That is so fucking dope. I swear to God. I swear to God, that is fire. That is so fucking fire. All right, so let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of them adding this feature exclusively to the Out of Armor. Now, again, can we, can I do this in a route? I want to see where, what's the limitations? I know I can't do it outdoors, I mean indoors. Can I do it in this, in this side of the world? Yeah, this is like pseudo indoors with the camera can't spin around. Yeah. Okay. You can't do it here. That's a letdown. Can't happen in roots. Can it happen on the wild area? Again, no. And that's kind of disappointing. That's a kind of bummer, 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 bro. So, you can indeed have them follow you in the Owl of Armor, but you, and you cannot have them follow you at all inside of the base game. Nowhere in the base game, apparently, will allow you to have the Pokemon follow you. Again, I love the idea of Pokemon following you. I don't like it that it's kind of tied to the Owl of Armor, and then I don't like it that it's unavailable to players who already have purchased Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, granted, I understand it's a perk of the Isle of Armor. It's a perk of the DLC. It has some story elements on why, uh, you know, they are letting you have a Pokemon follow behind you. And, you know, it does play into the lore of what's going on. Like, 
literally the master of the island, um, Mustard, basically allows it that you have a Pokemon following you because they want you to ha grow an infection with this one Pokemon. And it just basically so happens that and no matter which Pokemon you put in your front party, you can also have them walk around and follow you around the island. Now, I personally would have liked it if it was, you know, everywhere in the game, all the routes, all the wild areas, including the ones from the base game. But it's like, I understand why they went this route, but Jesus Christ, it feels like a, you know, a half bait limitation wall that they didn't need to. I'm pretty sure that they could have had these um, Pokemon following behind you or Pokemon following behind you in the regular base wild area of the game. I don't know why they're limiting th that just to the Isle of Armor. Again, maybe lore-wise it makes sense. Maybe there is, you know, issues with it having, you know, Pokemon following you. Plus, that being the hub, open world hub of the wild area with, you know, tons of players online running around. That's already a jumble mess when you're online with everyone running around. I could see why they wanted to maybe limit that, but... Again, it's still a bummer. It's still a bummer. It still feels half-baked. I would, would want it to be open freely. You can do it whatever. Hopefully, that is something they learn and move into the next games. Because I would personally love Pokemon following you back. I think that was just a huge, dope idea and concept inside of the Let's Go games. They expanded on that where they allowed you to even ride certain Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure you can't ride no Pokemon here. But, again, it... Pokemon following you have something that fans have been screaming from the top of their want list for games for a while. And it's great to see Game Freak finally hear us. But it's weird that it's attached to paid content, extra content on the DLC end, and not baked into the main, you know, package of the game where basically everyone is going to do, everyone's going to buy the main package of the game, but only a select few may get the DLC or vice versa so it's kind of in a weird murky spot for me anyway where i'm diehard fan i'm going to get the dlc regardless but uh, this feature would have drawn in i don't want to say more people than more people would have bought the game just because pokemon could have followed you but that would have been a you know screenshot on the back of a box that would have made people be like oh shit they're fucking listening to us but I don't know. Let me know what you think about this feature in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this all the time. Talking Pokemon, having discussions with you guys. I love it. If you like the vibe and you fuck with it, again, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it to other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And we got Pokemon following you back. Thank you, Game Freak. I'm happy. Oh, it's weird that it's just not everywhere. And it's only on the Isle of Armor. And, again, all of the fans who aren't able to get the DLC is missing out. Let me know what your thoughts about that in the comments. Peace. I'm going to see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one